Did you know that a small 1% mistake when buying a home could cost you thousands? Imagine paying 20,000 rand more than you should. Today, I'll be breaking down seven steps to make sure that doesn't happen to you. And trust me, step five could save you from a huge mistake that most people don't even think about. Step one, don't let house fever get you. We've all been there. You find what looks like the perfect house and suddenly you've got the house fever rush. You are ready to pay whatever it takes just to lock it down. Trust me, I've been there. At 26, I bought my first house and let me tell you, I thought I knew everything. But don't let your excitement make you act too fast. Buying a home based on emotion instead of logic can lead you to overspending. Remember, keep your emotions in check and stick to the numbers. Step two, get your finances in order. Here's the truth. Don't even think about buying a home until you are debt free and have an emergency fund. I know it sounds like a dream to get a house now, but Russian could trap you financially. And hey, it's not a race. I once knew a couple who lived in a tiny garage apartment and saved half their income and paid for their first home in cash at 28. If you can't go 100% down, that's okay. But only take out a 15-year fixed rate mortgage and keep the payment below 25% of your take-home pay. Step 3. Avoid DIY real estate. Buying or selling a home is not a DIY project. You wouldn't let your cousin John, who just got his toolbox, fix your car brakes, right? Same logic here. This is the biggest purchase you will likely make. Get a pro on your side. Don't fall for save on commission trap. A professional agent will help you avoid costly mistakes. You are better off paying a little more for expertise than losing big on a bad deal. Step four, no true home value. A quick myth buster. Property 24 and tax assessment aren't accurate. They give estimates, but those numbers don't reflect the true market value. If you want to know the true worth of a home, get a professional appraiser and look at comparable sales in the area. This is true no matter where you are buying, whether it's here in South Africa, the US or Europe. Always get the facts before making your offer. Step 5. Plan for hidden costs. So you save for your down payment, but you have thought about the extra cost. Closing fees, inspections, repairs, they all add up. Don't let this hidden cost catch you off guard. In markets around the world, this cost can make a big difference. Whether you are buying in Cape Town or California, know what to expect and plan accordingly. Step 6. Keep your loan low and pay it off fast. When it comes to your home loan, always aim for a 15-year fixed rate mortgage. Not only will you pay off your home faster, but you will save thousands in interest. If a 15-year loan feels like too much, that's a sign you are buying too much house. Scale back and buy something that fits your budget. Step 7. Be ready for closing. The closing process isn't just paperwork. It's when you lock in the deal and commit. Make sure you fully understand the inspection results and any clauses in the contract. Don't rush just because you are excited to move in. If you skip these steps, you could end up with a home full of costly repairs or a deal that isn't what you expected. Take your time. Quick question for you. Have you ever felt house fever and almost overspent? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your stories. Stick to these seven best steps to buying a home without making costly mistakes and you will be in a great position to build wealth through home ownership. And hey, if you are serious about buying a home, visit propertyaskecho.com and book my free consultation today. Let's chat about your next move because your home purchase could change your financial future. I'm dedicated to your success. Be a legacy builder and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.